today, I want to ask you a question. I'm going to put up a picture, hopefully it's in there. These giraffes, does anyone know what a, I guess they call it a herd, but it's not the name for them, what a group of giraffes are called? Any idea what a group of giraffes are called? Now, I thought it would be a herd, but it's not a herd. When you get a group of giraffes, maybe a group of 200 giraffes together. Now, don't Google it, adults. Um, what is a group, a large group of giraffes called? Any idea? Want to guess what a large group is called? Any idea what it might be? It's not a herd. That's a big clue, but it's something else. A gathering? A gaggle? You get a gaggle of geese. I keep geese. I have a gaggle of geese at home. But no, um, it's not a gaggle. That is getting very, very, very close. A forest is getting pretty close. So it looked like a bit of a forest when you have 200 giraffes all gathered together. Very close. It starts with T. And think about the size of a giraffe. A tower. A group of giraffes is called a tower of giraffes. Now, it's interesting, when a baby giraffe is born, number one, it's got to fall from a long way, number one, to when, it, when it's born, because it's a fairly tall mother. The mother goes away to a little clearing just to the side. The whole herd knows where the giraffes are and where the mother is, and she's having the baby. When the baby arrives, it's on the ground, it can't walk. The mother can't help it. She can protect it. She's watching with her beady eyes for any lions or tigers or anything else that wants to come and grab her baby before it can walk. But the baby has to struggle. And the tower is there watching and they're protecting, but the baby has to struggle. First of all, next life spaghetti it struggles and it tries and tries again to get its neck up. It takes a long time for that to happen, but the mother's watching. And then it struggles to its feet and it can't nurse from its mother till it can get to its feet. So the mother watches anxiously. She'll give a, nick, a lick and a nudge sometimes just to encourage baby. But baby has to struggle by himself to get to his feet so that he can nurse. And he needs to do this in as fast a time as possible before the predators that are coming in know what's going on. And then once the baby's up and nursing, they can rejoin the tower of giraffes. That reminds me of us. Sometimes we struggle. Do you struggle sometimes? Do you have those hard days sometimes when things go wrong? Or only Pastor Darren struggles? There are days when things happen, when things go wrong, and we struggle. But we can know that we have people around us. Who are the people that are around to protect us, do you think, and help us? Parents. We have mums and dads who are there to... Sometimes they can't help our struggle that they will encourage us and help us because they know that struggling is good for us. Who else is there? Who else is in our tower? Maybe teachers? Do you have any teachers you like? At school? Have a favourite teacher? Yeah, teachers are good to have in our tower because they're there to encourage us and help us along the way as well. What about grandma and grandpa? Are they good towers to have? Yep. They've journeyed along the way before and they know what's going to happen. They see a struggle, but they're there to guide us too. And what about this church? You look out there, you see lots of towers out there. You see all these towers? Lots of towers. That's why we have church community. Because they're there to help us too. So all of these towers are there to show us the way. And of course, there's God. He loves us. He cares for us. 
he's there for us. And it's only when we struggle, I was reading this research just this week, it's only when we struggle that we find God for ourselves in a very real way. That's why parents sometimes say, yep, you can do this and they encourage us and they help us, but we need to struggle ourselves to find ourselves, to find our place in the world, but also to find God. So today we're going to be thankful for our towers. As you go back to your seats today, I want to show you first, I decided I was going to build a tower. Here's a tower I made. Whoops, he's bouncing around, but he's still standing because he's a tower. He's a tower. And so I want you to, when you see giraffe next time, think of all the towers, people that surround you and help you and guide you even when you struggle and never run away from struggle. Struggle's good. It helps us grow. And most of all, God wants the best for us and he's there in the midst of our struggles too. So thank you, boys and girls.